Hey guys, it's Robin. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got a two month empty video. I have got a very overflowing bin here, very large bin here of empties for March or for February and March. So I have not sorted through this yet. I'm going to sort as I go. We'll do wax last because you will have seen most of that in previous what I've been warming videos. But the bath and body and laundry stuff you will not have seen yet. So we will go through that stuff first. All right, so as is traditional, we'll start out with cotton balls. So this month, or this last couple months, I have quite a few bags of cotton balls. Um, part of that is because I used a few, and the other part is because on spring break, break, my husband organized my office for me, and so he took all of my bags of cotton balls and put them into one large bag. <laughs> so now I have a very large bag of cotton balls and a bunch of empties. So here we are. Um, these are the Love You cotton balls from Walmart. I did not like these. I would not repurchase them. These were very puny. You had to use like six or eight for two cubes of wax. I wouldn't recommend. I only bought them when um, they didn't have the other kind available during the cotton shortage of 2022. <laughs> so that was my last bag of those, I think, and I will not repurchase those. I also have a favorite of mine, the Super Jumbo Cotton Balls from Equate brand at Walmart. I have a couple bags of these. These are probably my preferred cotton ball that I have easy access to here in Canada. So those I will repurchase. I continue to repurchase. Then I have some Simply Soft cotton balls. I think these were from Pharma Choice here in Canada. These were good too. They were about the same size as the Super Jumbos from Walmart. Those I would repurchase if I saw them. It's just the Walmart ones are like 30 cents cheaper, so. Another bag of Super Soft or Simply Soft. Another bag of Equate. And then another bag of Love You. Again, did not like those ones. Another bag of Simply Soft, which again were good. And then these are a gift from my friend Becky in the US. These are available apparently in the US Walmarts. These are the Equate Mega Balls. These are fantastic. They're like huge. They're like almost like they're like maybe half the size of a cotton cleanup. They're amazing. You can clean out like an entire warmer with one of these. I love them. Um, but they don't have them here in Canada, at least not in my area. So those are a rare treat. Then on to laundry. I have a small size tub of wash whiffs in jammy time. These I've been working on for a very long time, probably over a year. Yeah, these are nice. It smells just like the wax. It's kind of a fairly sharp, cuddly laundry type scent with some coziness to it. Um, I think there's a lot of like florals and maybe lavender in here. It's very like kind of cozy, cuddly laundry. Um, I use this exclusively on my daughter's bedding and a couple of her loads of laundry. So the thing is, once Fluffy Fleece came out, I kind of started abandoning this and I started using Fluffy Fleece on her things instead. So we did enjoy jammy time. This was a very good, strong performing washer whiff. One scoop would scent her entire twin size bedding set. It was awesome as far as strength goes. So it did the job, but I think we prefer the scent of Fluffy Fleece for her laundry and I don't think I'll repurchase jammy time washer whiffs for that reason. As long as Fluffy Fleece is available, I think that fills that need for us. Then into like bath and body, or yes, we have one random thing here. This is a best friend's buddy clip in Best Berry. It was a little koala bear with a half heart. Um, this was a gift again from my friend Becky for Amelia. So this is now on Amelia's backpack for school and she enjoys that. It smells really nice, not overly strong. It's perfect. My daughter Amelia also got through a bag of the Scentsy Soak in Cashmere and Corduroy. This one is vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. This one to me smells a little bit different than the wax. I think I prefer the wax, but this was still very, very pretty. Um, really nice. And so she enjoyed that there was kitties on the bag and that it made the water pink. Um, smelled nice. You can control the amount you use. I'm very, very sad we no longer have the Scentsy soaks in the catalog. I think that was a big loss for Scentsy, um, but these are fantastic. So if we see them come up in limited time offers, I highly recommend them. Um, they're just great because you can use a little bit, you can use a lot, it's however much you want, but she loves them for her bath and they're a great value too. Because we probably got like maybe like a dozen baths out of this bag because she's little so she doesn't have a very deep tub. So that one worked well. Next I had a shaving soap in Blue Agave and Melon. And I had this stashed away under my sink and I was like I don't want to use it because I love this scent and it's never coming back. But then it came back. So I got to using it, and this is Blue Agave, Honeydew Melon, and Kiwi. 
And so I finished this up. This was great. I wish we still had the shave soap. This worked really well. Um, it did kind of get caught up in the razor a bit. You had to like rinse out the razor of a few strokes, but it worked okay. Um, was very softening, worked well, got a close shave. Um, yeah, I quite enjoyed that. I think we only had the shave soap maybe a few times. I can't remember. Maybe twice since I've been a consultant. And I'm not sure. They didn't bring it back last summer, so I'm not sure if it wasn't a good seller or what. But I really liked it and I love the scent. This scent is now available in wax again in the spring summer catalog, so you can try the scent in wax and I highly recommend that you do. Okay, here we have what is probably my biggest disappointment. Now I had a gift card for a little local shop, like a little gift shop in town here, and I wanted to go splurge, so I did. So I got some Times items. It's hard to see there. Times, the brand is Times. Um, this is the Kimono Rose scent, and I really, really like it. This is a very beautiful scent. Um, the trouble with this is that, and it's not doing it now, um, this doesn't have a pump of any kind. So it did come with a little plastic, like, little plastic thing with a hole in the middle that kind of controlled the amount that came out. The trouble was, the second shower I went to use this, that little plastic stopper that had a hole that controls the amount, went splat into my hand with like a big handful of shower gel. Now this was like a $30 shower gel for like a regular sized bottle, like similar size to like a Bath & Body Works bottle. Um, yeah, it's like nine and a quarter fluid ounces. For that price, I expect functional packaging. Like, I was pretty mad. And the other thing is this lid is very pretty. It's, it's like a faux wood. But it, when it was wet, it would come right off. So like, then you're left with this like wood cap that just comes off and exposes like the underside of the lid, which is just like a plain black cap. So the most of the shower gel's life, all it had on top was like a black cap, like a screw on black cap, and then this wooden piece sitting next to it because it wouldn't stay on. And then this non-functional bottle where you had to like try to like hold the bottle and like screw the lid back on with a handful of soap in your hand in the shower. It was very unuser friendly, like the worst system of dispensing I've ever come across in a shower gel. And for the price, that was very disappointing. Now that said, the shower gel is wonderful. The shower gel is a beautiful scent. It lingers on the skin after your shower. It's so pretty. It's like a ginger and rose type scent. And the rose is so pretty. I even bought the like little perfume spray in this and I love this scent so much. I wish they would get it together with the shower gel packaging because I would 100% repurchase this if they changed the packaging. In the meantime, I will not purchase Time Shower Gel, and I would not recommend that you do either, unless you're okay with the whole rodeo of trying to squirt this uncontrolled into your hand, and then like do one of these with a handful of soap, trying to get it put back together, and then sit it down and then wash. It was inconvenient. Um, and that was totally just poor quality packaging, because the little like stopper that came on here would have done the job, if it had stayed on, but it literally lasted two showers. So, no, do not recommend, poor value for the money, will not repurchase. Then I got through another Batiste Brunette dry shampoo. I go through these fairly regularly just to like do my roots and stuff in the mornings. It works fine. Um, it just kind of soaks up a little excess oil. I tend to have oily style hair. I guess you can't really see that right now. I need a haircut so bad, oh my gosh. Um, it works great. I repurchase this all the time and will continue to. This is also one of the dry shampoo brands that has not been affected by the fairly large scale recall of dry shampoos recently. So as far as we know, this one does not contain carcinogens so far. So far, so good. Then we got through in the guest bathroom, a uh, Bath and Body Works soap and pink lemonade. This one was wonderful. This is, what are the notes? Strawberry puree, tart lemonade, and pink sugar crystals. This was fantastic. We really enjoyed this one. Um, my daughter used this one a lot more. She used like extra pumps. So we really liked this one. Um, this smelled a lot like a perfume that I wear in the summer. Um, it's called Rosy Maple from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. It was offered years ago, but it smells like pink lemonade. And that's what this smells like. And it smells wonderful. So I love this. I would look for this again and repurchase it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm recovering from a cold, which is saying a lot because I don't often repurchase hand soap. I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase most hand soap scents, 
This one I would go out of my way to find and buy more of. This one is fantastic. Another soap we got through and love is the Scentsy Hand Soap in Caramel Apple Craze. This we did in our bathroom. I had done this in two, I guess, portions. I did this in early fall up until about mid-November and then I switched it out for Christmas Cottage. No, Perfect Peppermint. We did Perfect Peppermint through the holiday season and then I took this back out because it only had a little bit left. So I took this back out and used it up um, in like February. Um, this was nice. This we really enjoyed. Um, true to caramel apple scent. Yeah, this one's so good. Like this one, it smells like a true, true like candy apple. I love this. I think I have one more in my cupboard and I would repurchase this one. It was wonderful. Then I got through a foundation. It took me forever because I don't wear my makeup most days. Um, but this is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with SPF 45. Um, my shade is 1W2 called Sand, if that helps you. Um, I love this. So there is an ingredient in a lot of foundations that I am sensitive to, and that ingredient is dimethicone. Dimethicone is a harmless silicone that is in a lot of foundations because it gives a good slip to foundation, so it makes it smooth on really nicely. So a lot of foundations and moisturizers use that ingredient. And it's harmless in general. Except to me, who it breaks out terribly. If I wear it one time, I'll end up with big cystic pimples all over my face. It's terrible. I'm just really, really sensitive to that ingredient. And it's very, very common. Um, for most people, it won't make a difference because most people are not sensitive to that ingredient at all. Um, but I am, and this, set, this foundation does not contain it. So I appreciate that. Um, this is a nice pump style foundation. The pump is gross because I've been using it for like a year. Um, pumps out nicely. I like that it's a tube style so you can get right to the bottom of it. I love this foundation. I also do find the sunscreen and it works very well. If I'm outside and in the sun and I forget my sunscreen on like my shoulders and stuff, I'll notice my shoulders do get a little bit burnt. My face does not. So the, su the sunscreen in here is very effective. I really like it. I have repurchased this. That's what I'm wearing right now. I love this foundation. Highly recommend. Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue. Then I finished up the Happy Birthday Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. This one is, it doesn't have notes on it. It smelled like birthday cake. Just kind of a like standard birthday cake type scent. It was really good. I love these little travel size ones to try out scents that I wouldn't necessarily want a whole bottle of. Um, and yeah, I did this in February during my birthday month. It lasted a good like 14 showers or so maybe like 10, somewhere in there, 10 to 14. I feel like if you were going away for two weeks, this would be like the perfect thing to take with you for shower gel. It'd probably last you just the right amount of time. So I really liked that. I would repurchase that scent if I saw it. Then on to pods. I finished up one sad Very Merry Cranberry in pods. I can't remember where I used this. Probably in my laundry room. Is that right? Maybe a bedroom. Let's see here. What else do we have? Very Merry Cranberry. No, this would have been the laundry room. So, laundry room, we did Very Merry Cranberry. I don't remember smelling this all that much, so it can't have been a fantastic performer. It would have been quite some time ago, so maybe I'm just not remembering well. But, Very Merry Cranberry in pods, I have nothing to say about because I can't remember it. Um, Starburst Sky, I did this in the bedroom air purifier. This I really liked. This was a fairly strong pod, actually. Um, it lasted a good couple of weeks. I want to say like three weeks. It lasted a while. And you could actually smell it when you walked into the room, which I really liked. So yeah, you can even smell it still. Like that was a good pod set. So if you like the scent of Starburst Sky, I would recommend trying the pod. It's a good performer. Then in the bedroom air purifier, I did Pink Sunshine. This one was also very pretty, enough that I repurchased it. Again, pretty strong for about a week, then it tapered off, but it did last a good couple weeks, and I really, really liked this one, so I did repurchase that, and I think I used another pack of it even. Yeah, I did. Here's the second pack of Pink Sunshine that was also in our bedroom air purifier. Yeah, this one is like a nice rosy, I think it's pear, but it, I smell apple and rose, and it's just very sweet and pretty and fresh, perfect for a bedroom. Then right now in the um laundry room I have maple vanilla glaze but before that I had winterberry apple tea 
and that did well in there as well. This one lasted quite a long time in the wall fan diffuser in my laundry room. Um, Winterberry Apple Tea was a pretty strong pod and quite long lasting as well. So that one I recommend. Vanilla Maple Glaze, I'm not the biggest fan of. Maybe it's just the fact that it's my laundry room and I don't want my laundry room to smell like dessert. I don't know. Um, I don't know that I would have purchased the Maple Vanilla Glaze pod. It's got a very mapley tone. I know it's Maple Vanilla Glaze, but it's got a very like dark mapley tone that I don't love. Um, I prefer it in wax. So that is all the non-wax stuff. The rest is wax. I will quickly go through Vendor first because there's less of it. And then we'll go through Scentsy because there's a lot of it. So Vendor, we have Big Bird's Birthday from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was from Becky. This was delicious. It's a nice lemon bakery scent. I would repurchase that. Next we have from Zape Cafe du Monde. This was from my friend Melissa. This is Fresh Baked Beignets, Hot Espresso, and Fluffy Whipped Cream. This was delicious on warm. Oh, it's delicious on cold too. That one's so good. I would, I'll repurchase that for sure. That's a good one. Then we have Cape Breton Apple Crisp. This was a gift from a lovely, my friend Leslie. Oh, this one is good. This one smells like, almost like a banana apple, but it's, like, it's more like a very sweet golden apple. Um, it doesn't have the notes on here, but it smells like apple crisp, like less crisp and more just baked bubbly apples, like golden apples. It's really good and sweet. And that one did well too. I would repurchase that. That's from Kanapa Candle. Love that one. Then we have London Fog, also from Kanapa Candle. This one is lovely. This one is like, oh, lavender and cream, like steamed milk, not like cream, but like steamed milk oh, and tea. It's soothing. Like it's just like, it's just like relaxing. It's like breathing in a cup of tea. It's so good. That one I would repurchase as well. Destination Wax Orange Chiffon Cake. This was again from Becky. This is orange chiffon cake garnished with sweet caramel hazelnut brittle. This was good. This was a very strong, strong bakery. Um, very much like lemon coconut chiffon from Scentsy, only kind of an orange version of it. Very like punchy citrus. Really good. Fall Birthdays from the Sassy Girl Aroma. Blueberries, apple, caramel cider, caramel cider, and birthday cake. That's a repurchase. I love that one. Delicious. Almond Cookie Land. This was another gift from a subscriber, Emily. She was lovely enough to send me a few, a bunch of, oh, a few, it's like a box of vendor wax. Um, super lovely. And I've been working my way through it. Almond Cookie Land. I think people have said this is a Rose Girl scent. This was a nice kind of cookie scent. I did this in the office. It was short duration, but quite a lovely, like, almond cookie scent. Then we have Tea and Cakes from Country Market Crafts, also from Emily. This is a, like, you get a lot of tea here, but the tea is almost like a, like, iced tea to my nose. And the cakes is kind of like a white cake. It's very pretty. And I do love Country Market Crafts wax. That was a good one. Belle of the Ball is Lemon Cream Cupcakes and Sweet Coconut Pineapple. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders. This was good. This was like, you definitely got the lemon on warm. And then there was almost something that reminded me of like, um, what's that scent? Pastelitos. Something on warm kind of with the pineapple and the coconut. And it reminded me of like a tropical like Pastelitos type scent. So that was a very strong, good performer. Then my friend Narina had been kind enough to send me some Teddy Bees wax because Teddy Bees is one of those ones that's so hard to get your hands on and with international shipping it's a it's a kerfuffle so I wanted to try some first. So she was sweet enough to offer and send some. So this is Cindy Lou Does Paris and the notes I think were like Sweet on Paris from Bath and Body Works and then Cindy Lou I think was like, I can't remember what was in Cindy Lou. I'll have to check but it was like a, a mix of those two scents. This was beautiful, like just beautiful. It's like a cozy, cuddly, wintry, sweet perfume scent. It's very pretty. I would purchase that again. This is a, I did this in the open layout, but this would be beautiful in bedrooms too. Um, super strong, nice long lasting, got two days out of it. This was fantastic. And a little goes a long ways with the Teddy Bees wax I'm noticing. Cookies and Cashmere. Again, a gift from a Sweet Narina. This one again is Teddy Bees. This was... Like, one of the highlights of the month, honestly, this particular scent. Oh, this one is so good. It is cookies, and it's like a nice, I don't even know what kind of cookie, like maybe sugar cookies, but like maybe something more there. 
but the cashmere note here is just perfectly balanced with that very sweet decadent bakery it is so good so 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 good i will be purchasing more of this thousand percent then from ella after this is blackberry jam butter cookies this is sweet butter cookies and blackberry jam this one i would repurchase i love this one got this one a while ago this was poured last june so it's it aged a while it was a good performer did well loved it we'll buy again then i have from savannah blue we have pink sugar cookie sugar cookie this is sugar cookies with pink frosting and sprinkles this was so good again this is another one that emily had sent this was amazing savannah blue's sugar cookie note seems to knock it out of the park like that sugar cookie note is probably the best vendor sugar cookie note i've ever smelled i did another one of her scents with sugar cookie and oh man it was good yeah that was amazing love that nice balance with the pink sugar and the cookie it was just lovely one dare but so good then we did warm and cozy apple fritter donuts from scoopable tart wax this is warm and cozy apple fritter and powdered donuts and this was good this smelled like a nice dry bakery cinnamon with like apple fritters like glazed apple fritters it was delicious just delicious i would get more of that one if i was ordering from that vendor um then we have savannah blue zombie cookies this is zucchini bread cookie dough and sugar cookies this was delicious too another one of the, those sugar cookie blends from savannah blue so good like so good um again this was a one dare as well but like delicious top notch if I order from Savannah Blue, I'm going to focus heavily on her sugar cookie notes. Another Savannah Blue one, we have Cupid. This is toasted marshmallow, buttery pretzel, and snickerdoodle cookies. This one was a little bit lighter. This was nice. This was light, though. This was a kind of a just kind of fill the air with, like, your baking sugar cookies kind of scent. Very background, very minimal, but just pretty and cozy and kind of nice to have in the background. I like that one, too. Then we have Happy Birthday Pumpkin from Harper James. This was delicious. This is pumpkin spice, vanilla cream, birthday cake, and marshmallow frosting. Um, lovely. I would purchase that. Harper James does some really fantastic scents. I especially love her fall ones. So I will probably place an order for her again in the fall. And I'm, gonna, I'm hoping she'll have Happy Birthday Pumpkin again. Then I did Rocky Point Treats from Ella After. This one is mixed berries, vanilla ice cream, and waffle cone. Um, this one's delicious. It smells, again, like a fancy, expensive waffle cone from, like, Cold Stone Creamery or Marble Slab. <sighs> that one's so good. This one was, like, more of a one-day scent, but it was delicious. I would still repurchase it. I believe that is still available on their site. And this is actually a Canadian vendor. So if you're Canadian and haven't checked out Ella After Wax Co., I highly recommend that you do because their stuff is really good. And it is Canadian, so you're paying a little bit less in shipping than if you were ordering from the U.S. Then from Destination Wax, I did Plum Tart. This was a gift from Becky as well. This is warm baked tart with jammy rich filling of plums, orange, cinnamon, and vanilla. This was another standout. This was phenomenal. And this one was strong and went for like two full days. This was so good. This one, oh, oh my gosh, it's good. This is what I wanted Dancing Sugar Plums to be. This is just a bit more bakery. Um, if you liked sweet plum pastry from Scentsy years ago, this would be pretty close. I do have a bar of sweet plum pastry. This reminds me a lot of that. I prefer this to sweet plum pastry. Yeah, that one's so good. This one would be enough alone, I think, for me to place an order for Destination Wax at some point. Just to stock up on this scent in particular, I'd get like six or eight of these. Then on to Scentsy, and we're gonna go Fast and Furious. Because again, these are ones that you've seen in what I've been warming. Bright Cider Life, one of my all-time faves. Hope that comes back in the fall. That one is like delicious apple pumpkin cinnamon, like almost a bakery to my nose. Fuzzy Blanket, coming back in June. This is a good one. Bring back my bar, coming back in June. It is a laundry. It's like a calm down jammy time. Like if you if jammy time's a bit too much for you, Fuzzy Blanket's probably gonna be more your speed. It is delicious and lovely. It's Love. This was Valentine's a couple years ago. Mandarin, tangerine, or no, tangerine, raspberry, and sugar. This one's delicious. Nice, bright, fruity scent. Pacific Sandalwood, another one of my all-time favorites. This one needs to come back. 
It's like creamy vanilla sandalwood. It's lovely. Light, but lovely. Uh, Showered in flowers. This one is beautiful. It's a nice fresh floral scent. It is sweet and crisp and just beautiful and authentic. This is a floral I absolutely love. Autumn Hearth, nice spicy classic traditional fall scent. When you think traditional fall and spicy, this is it. Yeah, classic apple spice. A little bit of clove there, I think. It's lovely. Lemon Drizzle Cake, this is in the catalog now. It is a lemon pound cake type scent with a hint of lilac. Very pretty, very springy. Strawberry Lemon Cake, April scent of the month. This one is nice, but light. Yeah, this is a nice strawberry cake. It is on the light side. Very good though. Cinnamon Bear. This is just like classic red hot cinnamon. Not as strong as you would think based on the cold sniff. Nice, just kind of classic cinnamon scent. Crumb Top, recent Bring Back My Bar. Oh, this one is so good. This is like flowery crumble, like streusel topping on a muffin. Delicious and such a great mixer. Sensepiration's Mango Shortcake. This is still available. This is like mango shortcake and whipped cream. This is a nice, delightful bakery one. Kind of a summer bakery. Another nice summer bakery is Cutie Pie Cupcake. This is like orange and yellow cake and like frosting. Delicious. Love that one. It's in my club. Coconut Pumpkin Pie. This was in the recent Bring Back My Bar. This is a very unusual scent, but it works. On cold, it's kind of weird, like kind of unpleasant, but on warm, it like comes together perfectly and it's just lovely. So I do have another bar of that stashed away for next fall. Happy birthday, another one that is coming back in June. This one is cake. It's cake. It's so good. That is a very good birthday cake scent. That will probably go in my club. Simply Vanilla is in my club. This is French vanilla and a touch of coconut milk. Fent Excuse me, fantastic and a great mixer. Love that one. Cran apple crumble. Oh, this one is so good. I always forget how good this one is. This is like cran apple brown sugar and whipped cream. Love this one. Nice for fall or even like a summer rainy day, I think. Blackberry sandalwood. This was from region three and I really liked this one. Yeah, that's lovely. Nice, deep, dark, rich berry scent beautiful. Grounded by that sandalwood. Apple Teeny Splash is in the catalog. This is Simple Syrup, Nashi Pear, and Green Apple. Oh, it's so good. Such a strong one too. This is just a great performer. Good all-around bar. Pina Colada Cha Cha. One of my favorites for summer. This is coconut, pineapple, and white rum. I think vanilla. Oh, it's so good. Pina Colada in a bar. Perfect for Fridays in summer. Banana Nut Bread in my club. I don't like banana scents. I love this one. When the banana wears off, this one's perfect. Oh, so good. Nice gentle spice cake. Maple rum cake. This one is not great on cold. On warm though, this is like a nice rich molasses cake. Quite nice. White amber and silk. Smells like a fancy closet. It's kind of a nice clean scent. A little powdery, a little soapy. Very clean. Berry of Paradise. This one is Birds of Paradise. Probably vanilla or creamy note and strawberry. It's all right. I prefer strawberry swirl, but this one is nice too. Sweet or, or Spiced Orange Harvest. This is like your classic spiced orange. It's very nice. Like really, really nice. Good for mixing or on its own. I like that one a lot. <coughs> then we have Candy Crave. It's in my club. This is like a nice body care cotton candy. So good. Mango Wildflower. This one I didn't like on cold. Liked it a bit better on warm, but not enough to repurchase. It was pleasant enough. Not a repurchase. French Lavender. I did put this one in my club. It is currently available in Epcot. It will not be for long. So throw this in a club quickly if you want it. Otherwise, say your goodbyes to that one. That's a lovely one. Uh, another Strawberry Lemon Cake. Cashmere pear coming back in June. Love this one. Like nice, nice warm, <coughs> excuse me, nice warm pear. Lots of ginger here, like a nice fresh ginger root. It's it's good. That's a lovely one. Uh, Mandarin zest. This is from the Easter collection. This is a nice 
like, I almost want to say watery, zesty citrus. Um, I really like this. I will repurchase some. Pumpkin roll, a favorite. It's in my club for safekeeping right now. Oh, it's like a spiced pumpkin cinnamon roll without, without the frosting. Spiced berries. This one was from Bring Back My Bar recently. I really like this one. It smells like, like frankincense and mirror and berries. It's very pretty. My husband did not care for this one, so not a repurchase. Uh, strawberry swirl. Love this one. It's like a strawberry milkshake. Excellent for mixing or on its own. Perk Me Up from Bring Back My Bar. This is kind of a like mediocre coffee scent to my nose. I did not like it enough to repurchase and it was not a very good performer in my home. Pink Coconut does really well in my house, lasts for days. Has that nice pink clay note that makes it kind of unique. I quite enjoy that one. Lake My Day, this is a new bar in the catalog. This one is kind of like a fresh men's cologne or like more like a men's body wash. It's very fresh, not my kind of scent. Cider Mill, one of my favorites. Apple pumpkin, deliciousness, cider, so good. Perfect for fall. Sugar, in my club, excellent as a mixer or on its own. Oh, so good. It's like cotton candy and lemon drops, I think are the notes. Raspberry hibiscus tea is one of the new scents for the catalog. This is like a tart raspberry scent. Smells a lot like the new um, summer berry melon brick. Smells a lot like that. Kind of a generic tart berry with that like tart hibiscus petal as well. I quite like it. Hazelnut latte, love this one. One of my favorites of the last Bring Back My Bar round. It's in my club. This one's a nice, creamy, delicious, sweet hazelnut coffee. Apple press, a nice kind of floral apple. Very pretty. Scary good. This is a great performer. Um, pumpkin puree, cinnamon, toasted butterscotch, and vanilla. Love it. Mango margarita. This one I have repurchased several bars of and I really enjoy it. Yeah, this one's good. It's got like that lime margarita note to mango, go go mango. Love it. Good, nice and strong scent. Lasts about a day, but it's so, so good. Love that one. Sticky cinnamon bun. This one I didn't get much from. It's kind of a one day, kind of a dry cinnamon. I didn't get much else from it. It's okay. Cashmere and corduroy. I've clubbed this for the season for safekeeping. This one is like Sicilian bergamot, um, vanilla and cashmere. It's great. Nice and perfumey. Lasts a few days. I take it out after the first day though because I prefer that first day. Tropic Nectar. This is another new summer bar. This is lovely. It's got like a touch of coconut milk. Um, I think agave nectar and like tropical fruits. This one's really really good. Nice and fruity and bright. Cranberry Muffin was a bring back my bar scent. This one ended up being kind of unusual. This one is like a perfumey cranberry muffin. Like the muffin notes there. But then you get this like very like body shop cranberry perfumey note. Um, together it's not my favorite and this clamshell is like rickety and thin like I feel like I'm gonna stick my fingers through it. French Kiss. This one is in my club. This one is like fig and maybe sandalwood. It's just very very earthy and deep and pretty. We have Mango Matcha, one of the new scents in the catalog. This is a nice sturdy clamshell. This one is like manga, mango and matcha powder. And what else? I want to say like cucumber or sea salted cucumber. It's overall a very bright, juicy, slightly green mango note. Very nice. Woodland Suede. I really liked this one in the last Bring Back My Bar as well. This one is a very woodsy, kind of sweet take on woodsy. Um, love that one. Pinkberry Fluff. I'm currently deciding whether this should go in my club or not, or if I should just purchase a few bars, but I really, really like this one. And you do need a few cubes to make it work, but oh my gosh, it's good. So, so good. It's like marshmallowy, perfumey. Cinnamon Buttercream. This one is in the Fall Winter Catalog, generally. Not a favorite of mine. Nice mixer. I usually keep a bar on hand in the Fall Winter. That was a good one. For mixing, I don't use it on its own. Another Crumb Top. I've been enjoying that one. 
Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. This is a, a scent of the month from last fall. It didn't get a lot of talk really, but it's really good. It's like pineapple upside down cake. It shouldn't be because of the name, but it smells like pineapple upside down cake and it's just good. I would, I kind of wish I'd club this. It's a great all year round bakery. Rum Raisin Cookie, I did club. This is a spicy, almost oatmeal cookie. Um, it's a little dusty in the same way that like maple rum cake is on cold, but on warm it's a bit nicer. I'm hoping this one ages to be a bit stronger as well. Raspberry Lollipop is a last year's Easter scent. This one's okay. It's kind of like a raspberry candy. It's all right. It's nothing special. It's, it's nice. And Graham Cracker Crunch. This one's so good. This is a fall winter scent. Love it. It's in my club for the spring. It is like crunchy peanut butter, graham cracker, and vanilla. It's delicious. So that is all the things I got through in the month of February and March. Got through a lot of stuff, especially wax. So I would love to hear what you've been getting through, what you've been using, especially as the weather starts to warm up. Um, as for my melting basket, I did do, I did make a melting basket. I'm not going to film it because we're already on the 7th of the month. We're well into April already. And it's not a very big melting basket that I made. It's just a few things, especially for Easter to grab. And Easter is this weekend. So I don't know that there's much point in me uploading a video on that. But I am, I did want to upload my empties because I did get through a lot. And I need to empty this bin out so I can restart filling it. Um, but yeah. So I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.